Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Rice Swag. So today's video is going to be showcasing my Dragon Ball Z collection. Such a good and cool collection. It spans from every season of DBZ on Blu-ray, and uh, the two newest movies, and Dragon Ball GT. I'm going to be quickly showing you guys this. Hopefully this is possible in a couple minutes, because that would suck. There we go. First things first, I'm the realist. We have season one of uh, Dragon Ball Z, of course. It's the only thing I'm really showing. And uh, you got some characters. You got like Goku, you got like Piccolo, you got like Raditz. And I'm not gonna be like, explaining every case, because you know, I'm pretty much just gonna be showing you this, this stuff. And uh, I'll also be telling you about it, I guess. I don't know. So, here's season one. And, uh,. I really like how the this, the color of the blue really is. I think it looks really nice. And uh, matches really good. And you got the discs, which is this is the only time I'm gonna be showing you the discs because well, they're not really nothing to look at. On um, the sides you have the episode list, so this season has uh, 39 episodes. I never finished Dragon Ball Z, to be honest with you. Um because it's a little slow. It's a little boring, kinda like this video, if you know what I mean. Into uh, the episodes four, oh, yeah, 40 through 74. I'm up to season 3, this one right here. And uh, one day I'm gonna finish the show. Well, I'm not gonna do it in one day, but I'm going to continue watching the show. It's a better state. And, and one day I plan to watch all the episodes. Or to be able to claim that I've seen them all. Uh, this season comes with episodes 75 through 107. I got these on Blu-ray. Now there's another option, of course. You got uh, the DVDs for the complete series. There's other. There's a lot of options if you want to include incomplete shit. You know. Uh, other options include the DVD version, which is uh, the orange brick set, and that's all decent and all. But uh, there's a couple factors on why I bought this one instead. One. Somehow, right now, it's cheaper than the DVDs. I mean, very slight. Some seasons, it's it, it's pretty much to the point where some seasons are more expensive on DVD and others are more expensive on uh, Blu-ray. But when I got these, they were like on sale for a pretty good price. I believe it was like 25 bucks. Now it's like 20. I might go a lot because it's been a while. I got these for my birthday last year in April, aka last time I ever got a haircut. And I had to show you guys this because. I'm just dragging on. I don't feel the best today either. Uh, season 6, right here, episodes 166 to 194. And you got like 700 episodes. And each uh, Blu-ray comes with extras, so that's all of them. That is, uh, other options for the series include, uh, the level sets. I'm, I'm not sure these are actually called all the sets, but, uh, the one I'm thinking of is only season 1 has been released in its entirely, entirety. And then they stop for some reason. But that's actually truer to the way it was in the 90s, and people like it that way. So, it sucks for them though, because they gotta get with us, where it's all full screen, they're copying out some stuff. And this is kind of filler season. Filler season, I believe, 25 episodes only. Like that. Season 8 with my boy Vegeta, my favorite character in the Dragon Ball Z universe. I don't know who these guys are. But, uh, it sets up Boo, who is probably my favorite villain. So yeah, it's a very slow show, but then it gets good. It gets really good. Like it's that type of show. Season two was boring as fuck. Like I'll, I'll say that here. Like they're searching for Dragon Balls again, and it's like, oh, why are they even bothering? But it, it leads up to stuff. When Frieza arrives, it gets better. Same thing. Season one, the last like eight episodes are amazing. I watched them all in one session, but before that, it's hard to watch more than three episodes in a session. In a session. After the first uh, four episodes, which are actually good. And also, I think I, that I really like about the Blu-rays, as opposed to DVDs, are that they all form images. Every three seasons, which are pretty much three major arcs when you really think about it, because, you know, this leads into this, and this leads into that, and this all leads into this. And each of these have pretty much an ending in the series until it was renewed for another three seasons, because, you know, money and shit. So they all form images of the fighting. And the DVD 
communities do form a dragon if you're buying the orange brick set. Like, it would be like Dragon Ball Z or whatever, but this is cooler in my decision. In my opinion, I should say, not my decision, I'm not the, the ruler of Dragon Ball Z worlds. And, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you guys the other shit now. Um, Battle of Gods is right here. This came out like two years ago. Uh, yeah, like Wes, I'm Goku, and Nabiris, right? Yeah, that's Wes and Goku. And this is pretty much all the setup to uh, the new Dragon Ball Z show, which is Dragon Ball Super, which hasn't been dubbed yet. I'm waiting for a dub because that show interests me more, I think, than Dragon Ball Z, which is really hard to say. So, uh, here's Rebel Left, the second new movie. It's pretty funny, like the first one. But, uh, it's not as good, in my opinion. It feels a little rushed, in a way, and the story's not as important. Like, this one right here, this is like, uh, quick groundbreaking for the series. Like, it introduces the Super Saiyan God, and it changes the series forever. This kinda just adds to it, in that way. And not only do I have all this shit, right here, but I also have, uh, Dragon Ball GT, the complete series, right here, too. I haven't watched this yet, uh, I'm going to watch it after I finish the, all of these, but, uh, apparently it sucks really bad, and it's more like a bad fan fiction than an actual continuation from the show. And I think these actually have cool stuff to show, because these are like, pretty, this is pretty much the orange brick set, right? See, look, it like completes a little thing, it's the dragon, it's a, it's a quick dragon, because there's only two seasons, but... That's pretty much what you're getting for the orange brick sets and the blue brick sets of the original Dragon Ball. Uh, let's see what's in here. You see, um, if you're more fan of interior designs like this, like all the discs have like a little picture on them, then you get the DVDs. But, uh, Dragon Ball GT is relatively cheap. It's like 25 bucks at Walmart if you could find it there. My, I, one of my Walmarts has a for 25 bucks, it's a steal for the whole series. So yeah guys, here is my Dragon Ball collection. Madness, madness. Alrighty guys, my name is, well, you could say my name is Juice Man, and I am a friend of Rice Swag. Now, to add on to his collection DVD review, or whatever the fuck he's doing, um, I would like to add my favorite DZB character, Dragon Ball Z character, which would be Trunks. For the following three reasons. Uno is he got his own movie, he's that badass. Second is his hair is super long, and you no, know, anybody with long hair can be super awesome, obviously. And three uh, is because he's got a super cool sword. And fuck it, number four is because he was trained by Gohan, who is probably potentially the strongest character in the series. So that is all. Deuces. I'm Jimmy Dunn. This is from my good friend Rye Swag, who is currently making a video about Dragon Ball Z. Who doesn't love Dragon Ball Z? It is so epic. I remember when I was like nine years old watching Gohan blow up Cell. Speaking of Gohan, that's my favorite character. You should totally watch Dragon Ball Z if you haven't already. If you need to catch up, every scene is available, even GT. But I frown upon GT. But have a good day. See you later, Rye Swag. Motherfucker. Sorry if this video kind of sucked. Peace out.